If I can't get into the park, I'm going to have to go it alone, in the forest around its border. Here, I'll need to keep my wits about me. We've got a, a sort of a palm print, and then one, two, three, four. Here again, palm, one, two, three, four. So going that way, there is actually an active man-eater around at the moment. About, I think it's five people in the last couple of months have been taken. But this is where I have to fish. This water is actually very different from the water I was expecting to fish. Down the lake, it's muddy, it's still here, it's shallow, moving fast and clear. Now, fly fishing is one method I was going to use down there, but here, I don't know, it's possibly the most appropriate, so that's what I'm trying. There's a record of a 70-pound sereng that was caught from this river, and there might just be another giant lurking here. But I need to outsmart them by presenting a lifelike lure in all the likely hiding places. Oh. That was a fish. But while I'm intent on the river, other dangers are patrolling the shores. Wild elephants. That's a couple of elephants that have just gone past behind here very quietly, very quickly. In India, elephants kill more than 400 people each year. I'll need to keep my distance. Don't really want to see them too close. And when I'm fishing, I tend to be very much normally focused on what's in front of me. But uh, here, um, it's definitely a case that you need eyes in the back of your head. If this pair charged, they would be on top of me in seconds. I push deeper downstream. I'm 20 miles from the nearest town. If anything goes wrong out here, I'm on my own. But my luck may be about to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still there? Yes, it's still there. I can feel it. Oh. It's off, it's off, it's off. Ah! And I think tactically I should have just let that fish clear the rapid. It's not going to, you know, there's no danger in that rapid. Just clear to the quiet water down below. Then I can make my way calmly down and, uh, and land it. But um, mixed feelings, mixed feelings. I'd normally say that was just poor judgment. But could it be more of the bad luck the sereng is supposed to bring? I try to apply some clarity of thought. I've spooked my fish in the run, so I turn my attention to the pool below. But I'm tired and starting to lose my focus. There's definitely something on the bait. Definitely something on it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's a strange take, this. Come on, come on. I wonder if we take it properly. But whatever's playing with my bait has snagged the line around something on the bottom. There may still be a fish interested, so I need to handle this carefully. I've got the line caught up. Um, I want to free it using a bit of a dodge, which doesn't involve disturbing the water too much. The line's actually snagged, which is always a risk when you're fishing on the bottom with a lot of lead, where there's lots of loose boulders around. The bottle floats silently downstream and pulls the line free. Oh, yeah. And I reel in an empty hook. That's actually eaten the bait. That's eaten the bait.
Whatever is down there has just got a free lunch. This is normally the sort of challenge I relish. But here, even on gear that I'm familiar with, I'm starting to make mistakes. So as we use line that's too thick, bird's nest on the cast, that line in the current, and just pulls it all out of position. It seems that everything is starting to unravel. It might even be snagged. No, it's not, thank God. A bad cast, bird's nest on the reel, getting that off. The current takes it down, pulls it out of position, and it's snagged on a rock. You go to all that trouble making up a leader, you get it snagged, it breaks, you've got to start all over again. You know, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Just bloody ridiculous. It's not just the gear, my temper is fraying too. I have to get this situation back under control. That means getting into the water to recover my gear. I'm putting my feet potentially very close to whatever is in there. This fish has got me pushing my luck, making bad calls and taking unnecessary risks. What's more, no fish is going to be hanging around after all that disturbance. The fishing is starting to feel futile. I don't know what the answer is. Man-eating tigers, wild elephants, lost fish, snags, and now this. Last year, my crew narrowly survived a direct lightning strike on a river. Me. Our sound recorder has been hit, was actually struck on the head by that bolt of lightning. Chris, are you OK? Can you, are you responding? Yeah, yeah. Right, we might need some first aid here. Yeah, let's, let's go, go, let's go, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. I can't risk that happening again. The annual monsoon storms have arrived unseasonably early. These rivers will soon be in full spate and unfishable. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.